Hello, I have a rather large home haul today. Now I just want to start by saying that this is really quite unusual for me. Our style tends to be, with this renovation we've been doing in our house, that we get the bare minimum finished in a room and then we go, right, that's enough, and we stop. And that's partly to do with getting the guilt factor. So things like trinkets and accessories, all those really nice finishing touches that kind of make a room what it is, they cost money and they're kind of unnecessary. So I do find it quite hard to um, make those purchases, even though I love them, just when I know that there's a lot of other things that we need to allocate budget to as we move forward with this renovation. Um, but saying that, I did decide to have a little splurge and treat myself and I've got things from Maison du Monde, from Oliver Bonus and also from H&M today that I'm going to show you. This is probably going to be all the home stuff I buy for an entire year and um, so that's why I'm doing this video. <laughs> I just wanted to say that straight off because um, I feel really weird about the fact that um, you might watch this and think wow she spends a lot of money on this stuff. I really don't. This is literally a one-off and the amount of times I've bought a silly little trinket item and I've been given absolute hell from Sam so honestly it's just not worth it and this is literally a one-off it's because I had a little bit of money and I decided to treat myself so the reason that I'm doing this home haul is because our kitchen we designed it in a sort of ultra modern style it's all sleep cabinets and quartz worktops and our window frames and doors are that very popular anthracite grey colour so actually when you look at it as a whole it's quite cold there's no kind of textured wooden cabinets in there to warm it up so it really did need some accessories so that was my aim with this home haul so first of all I'm going to crack on with the Oliver Bonner stuff because that arrived today I apologize for the background noise the UK is having a heat wave this week so I've got all the windows wide open because it's just too hot in here the first thing is this vase which I just absolutely love. I'm not a flower expert but I think it would look good with some sparse kind of flowers in there or maybe even floating petals and also I have big plans for this at Christmas time. I think it's going to look great with fairy lights and baubles. It's just a really good all-rounder I think so I really love this. I also picked up this vase from Oliver Bonus as well. This one was um, only £12.50 which to me is quite good for a vase and we have absolutely no vases in our house so that's why I got a couple. Just for those times when we get flowers it's nice to have something nice to put them in and I thought that was quite a reasonable price. I also got this marble jewellery box. It's really chunky and heavy. It's really good quality and it's got this nice gold top and then you can lift it off and you can see it's just a square compartment in there. Um, so yeah, normally I think it's used for jewellery. I'm planning to use it in the kitchen on the shelf behind the sink to keep those things that you kind of want hidden in the kitchen like the scourer and the washing up sponge. I'm going to keep it all in here. Next up is this copper pineapple. I really don't know what I'm going to use this for. I just knew that I wanted a little bit of copper in the kitchen. Um, you can also store random bits in it. So I'll probably end up putting all the things that gets chucked on the island, like keys and random pegs and things, in here just so they're hidden away. And then, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this, but I will try and fit it in. I also got this wicker basket too. Um, I love the sort of geometric pattern on there. And I'm either going to use it just for blankets and things. I've got quite a few of those dotted around the house already. Or it might end up getting used. Um, we want to get a massive, massive plant in our kind of kitchen dining room and I might use this as the pot because I've seen a few of those on like Instagram and Pinterest and I really like the way that looks. Okay so next up is the stuff that I got from H&M Home. I got this wooden chopping board from H&M Home um, because it's wooden and it's warm and that's the exact sort of thing we need in our kitchen. I was hoping it was going to be tall enough to cover some plug sockets if I could just lean it up against the side but it's not quite tall enough so that's slightly annoying but it will still look good. I then also got this trivet. Um, we have 
quartz worktops and we are really quite anal about putting hot things on there so we need to have a lot of trivets and we were using cork ones and I just thought this was quite classy and this would be also quite nice to keep propped up against the side in the kitchen. I thought I had more from H&M but I don't know what I've done with it. Oh I got a rug! <laughs> the rug's in our living room downstairs, that's why it's not here. Now onto the Maison du Monde things. I got this, um, which I don't know whether it was advertised as a fruit bowl, but that's what I'm going to use it for. I love that it's asymmetric, and I also love the colour. If um, you've had a look at my blog or my YouTube art, you will know that mint green is my absolute favourite colour, so I love that. This is a little bit of a silly one, but I just loved it. We are going to use it on our stair gate at the top of the stairs. It's a pineapple doorstop, if you didn't quite get that already. Um, so yeah, we've put a stair gate at the top of the stairs for Otto now that he's mobile, and we kind of want to leave it open most of the time only close it on the times that he's actually roaming around upstairs. So the rest of the time, unless we've got a door stop, the gate just swings back and forward really quite annoyingly. So I'm going to stick this there and I think that's going to look quite nice because it's a black stair gate so it's going to be all sort of monochromy. I got these two pots which I really love because not only are they geometric but they also have wooden tops so that's that nice warmth and texture that I was looking for in our home accessories for the kitchen and they are also quite useful for storing things in. I'll show you so you can open it up like that so you can store like tea, sugar in there. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use them for yet but they're going to sit out on our worktops. And then last but not least, but actually kind of least, because it was such a low value product, it was £5, and um, I mean it's basically useless isn't it? What is that, apart from just something to sit there and look pretty, which is why I bought it, and I also bought it because it was £5. I've got a couple of these sort of things um, dotted around the house already, not in this shape, but similar geometric copper things, and they just look quite good, and they just add something to a room, and you can jazz them up, you can use them, you can put candles in the middle and things, they're quite versatile. And that is everything. I don't know whether to just put all this stuff out in the kitchen or to just introduce things really slowly bit by bit so that Sam doesn't get annoyed with me and realise quite how many things I bought. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how that one pans out. But I'm quite excited about all this stuff. I think it's actually going to make a huge difference putting this into our kitchen because at the moment our kitchen is really quite white, we've got white walls, we're getting white tiles, we've got white worktops, white cabinets, so it really, really, really was in desperate need of some warm accessories and I feel like I've covered that now and I'm so excited to put it all together and finally, finally have a finished kitchen. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I hope that this is not an obscene amount of stuff to put in a haul because I still feel like I might have overspent slightly. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye!